Hi guys, welcome to your weekly energy reading. I'm going to be using the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards as well as the Lover's Tarot. Um, some of you guys had multiple jumpers in your, in your energy reading, so let's get into it. Let's start with the Earth signs. So my Earth signs, you guys got two jumpers um, in the Oracle. So you guys got, we got the Empress, ooh, beautiful, Six of Wands, Blessings, and solitude. So for this week, my earth sign, solitude and blessings, um, six of wands, empress energy, very, very, really a very solid week, a real positive week. Um, I'm seeing a lot of successes. Some of you guys are going to be getting some really good grades if you're in school. Some of you guys are going to be getting some good praises and recognition this week. Um, accomplishments, that kind of thing. Empress energy, um, the empress energy, that's mama energy. So some of my mama, my earth mamas that are out there, a lot of self-care and, 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 and necessary taking um time out for the self with the with the solitude card coming up counting your blessings i feel is, is also what's what i'm hearing is what's coming through um a lot of you guys need to to really take note of the blessings currently going on in your life rather than wanting more um and then i just really feel like overall for a lot of my earth signs this is a time for solitude a time for going inward um focusing more on the self this week versus working on everybody else helping other people working on outside projects and whatnot to this is a week for my earth signs to really dig in deep for the self taking care of you um I also, like I said, I feel like the blessings with the six of wands um, just really screams to me a lot of successes. A lot of you guys are going to be seeing a lot of payback for things that you've been working so hard for. You're finally going to be seeing a lot of um, achievements, a lot of um, recognition for the work that you've been putting through. And it's probably going to be a lot to handle. Some of you earth signs, you're going to be in the limelight a lot this week. So by the, the, the weekend, that solitude card is probably hinting a nice, quiet, weekend in um so really good week for you guys air signs so my air signs you guys got the emperor beautiful the queen of pentacles and you guys got inner peace i love it so my air signs um that emperor and queen of pentacles just screams financial abundance and owning your worth owning who you are in the workplace speaking up, bringing new ideas to the table. A queen of pentacles handles, you know, her business and whatnot. Um, she's also very nurturing in everything that she does. So my my air signs, those of my air signs who are workers, who who work, who have, you know, your jobs or you maybe your bosses or whatnot. This is a week of really stepping forward in your power, utilizing your ability to be a leader, um, but also with that queen of pentacles is nurturing your work. Um, I feel like this is also a new appreciation for your work and what it is that you do. Um, that inner peace to me tells me that some of my air signs who are having some trouble with maybe a leader um, or, a, or a, a, a boss or there could be maybe someone you're married to, that emperor energy could be a father energy or it could be just a, a somebody of authority in your life that maybe you've been in the outs with. That inner peace is kind of telling me that regardless of what's happening, you got to you gotta be at peace with the self. Um, um, when you're at peace with yourself and inward, you're able to kind of, it, it, it kind of brings comfort to you, I feel, this week. It's it's going to bring, like, like it's a sense of everything's going to be okay, regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstances. And then also being a queen of pentacles yourself, you know, nurturing nurturing what the things that you love and helping it grow more. Um, but also, this could be a hint, too, with the queen of pentacles coming up for my air signs is a need for some more... Um, foundation some more grounding more earth vibes and maybe that is also you know having you know those of you who may have earth sign friends that you could reach out to for comfort that you can reach out to for understanding and just someone to, to give you that 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 what am I looking for like that groundedness like that ability that to make you feel stable when you guys are feeling like a little bit all over the place so um overall i feel like this is a really important week for my air signs i think it's a week for seeking inner peace you know when things are not quite going the way you want it to this week at least your peace you have inner peace within yourself um because when you have that it's going to make the situation a hell of a lot easier to deal with um because i feel like some of you guys this emperor energy may not be yourself feeling um uh, like a leader or feeling an authority this could be 
actually dealing with a difficult person in your life. So those of my air signs who are dealing with a difficult person in your life know that as long as you're at peace with the self, you're going to reflect that outward and it could actually change the energy of the people and the dynamics with you guys. So my fire signs. So my fire signs, you guys also got some jumper cards. So my fire signs, you guys got the lovers. The Nine of Swords, Focus, and Voyage. So to me, fire signs, this screams, for some of you guys who are in relationships, this could be, this doesn't have to just be romantic relationships. This could be your, your friendships, your, your interactions with maybe yourself and a client. Some kind of um, interaction or companionship with, with this week is going to be on the rocks, okay, with the Nine of Swords. So there could be a little bit of some like, some pushback, there could be a little bit of some arguing, misunderstandings, um, you know, some some stuff coming out of the woodwork there, I'm seeing, and, and it's a little shaky with that Nine of Swords. But what is necessary here is the focus and voyage, focusing on what's important in the relationship or with your connection with that person. And then the voyage could be, you know, to going on the journey. Is this, is this maybe some you time that you need to spend with your significant other, getting away, right? Um, are you guys able to do so this week, getting away from, you know, just the public and, and everybody around you and, and, and just having some quiet time for you and the lover, okay? So some of you guys who are in relationships, this may be a necessity necessity um, in, or, in order to strengthen what has once been strong in the relationship but maybe recently there's been some you know some some, some setbacks which is normal we all have that right um, and then also with your clients and your one-on-one -on -one, communication is key because of that sword suit um, and going on the journey with your clients and maybe utilizing more of your own personal experiences this week to help you know resonate with your clients and lastly, my water signs, we have temperance, 10 of pentacles, and we have the opportunity card. I love it. So with the opportunity, my water signs, this is, there is a, a, a lot of opportunity to communicate and to deal with community this week, you guys. Ten of Pentacles is everybody. This is energy of everybody, the collective, right? Um, temperance card is you're like that peacemaker. You are that person who is balancing out everyone, the energies with everybody else, you know, dealing with other people's emotions and whatnot. And then we have the opportunity is there. So for my water signs, those of you guys who, you know, you deal a lot with the public and you deal a lot with clients or you deal with, you know, whoever, <laughs> whoever you come one-on-one -on -one with, um, you guys are going to be a lot of the, the peacemakers this week. There's probably going to be a lot of opportunity for you guys to, to kind of balance out some mishaps going on around you and being just that person that can bring everyone together. Okay. You're going to be that glue. That 10 of pentacles is also abundance. So there's abundance flow coming this week. This could be payday for some of you guys. I know it's payday for me this week. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then also there will be some maybe some really good opportunities making themselves known to you so my water signs be open to that if you truly want to take part in something this week that is just like an opportunity that maybe doesn't come around often I would say this the cards are revealing to take advantage of it these are really good cards that a lot of abundance can come from this opportunity so maybe making some new clients making some extra money um, and then also just being able to feel well balanced and well rounded this is your this is your fortune is basically what it feels like is this opportunity is going to revolve around something that you're really good at so I feel like overall all of my signs are doing really well I feel like I have to rush through this because I only get 10 minutes of filming time but I want to go back to my fire signs real fast since we have a minute my fire signs, you guys, you guys, like what I was saying, like with your, with your relationships and stuff, if there's, if there's just some dirt, you know, if there's some stuff we got to clean up and whatnot, this isn't a bad thing. It's just, it just shows that there's some extra love, care and attention that needs to happen between you and someone else. Okay. Um, and I feel like, like I said, with the voyage and the focus card, focus on what's important rather than focusing on stuff that happened in the past, shit that's already happened or shit that hasn't even happened yet. I feel like a lot of my fire signs need to focus center and focus on the present and what's really important right now. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye my loves.